This segment brought to you by Kansas Farm Bureau, the voice of agriculture. To join today or more information, go to kfb.org or find us on Facebook and Twitter. Welcome to Farm Factor. Up first today, Dwayne Taves visits with John Reich about why we should use new crops and what they have to offer. Dwayne Taves joining you once again here on Ag AM in Kansas and an opportunity to catch up with John Reich with the uh, Foundation for Farm and Ag Research and talking about uh, some things within the industry. Uh, society is looking at different options for providing nutrients uh, to a population of people, John, and recently at a conference you had an opportunity to talk about some of those things with those in attendance. Yeah, so I'm here today talking about just the potential for plant-based diets. And um, at the foundation I work at, we really focus on scientific research. And we're interested in terms of this space in basically tapping nature's potential and tapping the potential of nature to create more healthy and nutritious foods that also allow farmers to thrive and be profitable. We think about those opportunities, uh, a number of people are concerned because we're talking about a change from status quo uh, from where we've been. Change isn't necessarily a bad thing, but it will require some growers to make some different plans uh, for the future. Yeah, I think you're absolutely correct. But we really view crop diversification as a strategy going forward that can help many people. So currently, you know, well, I'll step back and say that there are tens of thousands of plants that we can be using in our system. And we currently only tap the potential of a few of those crops. However, we think that if we shift the focus a little bit to expanding what we can include into our food system, it can really help um, not only create more nutritious foods, but also create a diverse array of ingredients that companies can be using to produce more nutritious foods. We think about where we've come in agriculture, uh, what uh, 50 years ago, uh, farms and ranches were really diversified and it had a number of different components that made that up. We kind of got into a monoculturist society uh, with some of the technologies that we got. It appears that we're making kind of a, a turn now, looking at, at a more diverse mix to provide not only uh, a better resources for humans and consumption of those foods, but financially for them as well. Yeah, I think, I think that's correct. I think that um, where we stand at this point in time, that there's a lot of technology that's been developed that's been applied to just a few of, our, of the crops that we're using now. We think that we stand at this kind of turning point where the technology that's out there can now be applied to create a more diverse system. And we think that will eventually lead to um, benefits for farmers and benefits for the companies that are trying to sell products. We think about uh, research, and that really is the, the focus of the organization that you work with. Those things don't happen overnight, and it takes investment dollars to come up with those solutions. Yeah, uh, that's absolutely correct. And the areas that we're talking about right now are areas that are extremely risky. And they're risky in the sense that they take long-term investments, and they take an enormous amount of investments. So the industry can't really focus on them in, sh in terms of short-term outcomes. And we think that through partnerships with industry and academics and foundations and governments and or whatnot, that we can really be begin moving that conversation forward. Final thoughts uh, from your perspective, John, on uh, a, a new opportunity on the horizon for growers. Yeah, I think there is a huge potential opportunity in crop diversification. I would really love to see um, markets created for new types of crops that farmers can then begin growing that are that make them more resilient to shocks, whether they're from climate or pests or et cetera. Um, and that those opportunities also lead to creating a more nutritious and healthful system that uh, benefits consumers, but they can also lead to, a again, a diverse array of ingredients that food companies and others can be using. Our thanks to John Reich with the uh, Foundation for uh, Food and Ag Research joining us on Ag AM in Kansas. Jamie, we'll send it back to you. Thanks, Dwayne. Folks, come back after these messages for this week's Kansas Soybean Update. To see this show and past episodes of Ag AM in Kansas, go online to agamincansas.com.